Welcome to lesson one, Berry Pita Pizzas. Today, we're going to help children get more fruit into their diets by teaching them to make their own berry pita pizzas using assorted berries, low-fat strawberry Greek yogurt, mini whole wheat pitas, and shredded coconut. Our education piece centers around berries and the nutrients they provide. Let's get started. First, let's make sure we have all of our ingredients. Using the prep list provided, check that you have assorted berries, low-fat strawberry Greek yogurt, mini whole wheat pitas, and shredded coconut. We'll also need to check that we have all of our equipment. Ensure that you have a bucket of sanitizer water with a clean wiping cloth and food service gloves. You'll also need a cutting board, a chef knife, a quarter cup portion scoop, a tablespoon measure, a garbage bowl, prep bowls with lids, and a marker for labeling them. Let's start prepping. For this lesson, I'm using assorted frozen berries. You can use fresh berries as well, such as strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, or raspberries. When preparing your berries for the lesson, make sure you wait to wash them until right before you pack them, otherwise they'll start to break down quickly. Now we're ready to measure out all of our ingredients. You'll need one container of each of the ingredients per group, plus one for the demo. I'll start by measuring the coconut with the tablespoon measure. You need five tablespoons per container. Next, I'm going to measure the yogurt and the berries using the quarter cup portion scoop. Be sure to wash your portion scoop in between each ingredient or use a new one each time. This is five scoops of each ingredient per container. Now we're ready to cover, label, and date all of the ingredients. Be sure to keep everything refrigerated or packed in a cooler with ice until the demo. Now let's 
just check that we have all of our equipment for the demo. This includes a cutting board, a chef knife, paper plates, plastic spoons, serving spoons, napkins, sanitizer wipes, food service gloves, handouts for the students, and crayons. Okay, now let's head to our demo. Okay, we're here on site. I have Abby with me today. We're going to wipe down all the tables, set up the lesson, and get ready for the kids. So my name is Chef Jen. Who, do you guys know what a chef does? Yes. What, are, what does a chef do? Cooks. cooks, right. So I work for the food bank. You know the snacks that you get after school? We're the ones who send you guys those snacks. And so I work for the food bank. We send you those snacks. And so we came here to do extra snacks with you guys today and to teach you a little bit about some fruit. Does that sound good? Yes. yes. And I have a really good friend with me today named Abby. And she's going to help out today. So she's, I'm going to show you guys how to do the lesson and then you guys are gonna do it. So what I need you to do is I need you to watch me the whole time until I tell you to do the lesson, okay? So you're not gonna do it along with me. I'm gonna show you first, and then you're gonna do it. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay, so we have three rules why we do these lessons, all right? The first rule is I need everybody to stay in their seats unless I tell you otherwise. Does that sound good? Can you do that? You're used to doing that in school, right? You have to sit in your chairs all day, right? So you're used to that one. The second rule is while I'm talking, I want you guys to do what? Listen and, and look at me, okay? I want to see everybody's eyeballs. Can I see everybody's eyeballs? Okay, I don't want to see the backs of any heads. I want to see big eyeballs staring at me, okay? You can ask questions, but try, to, try not to ask too many questions because I'll probably get to whatever your question is. And sometimes I'll say, hey, have you ever tried this before? You can either, I'll either call on you or if I'll tell you, I'll say everybody say it together, okay? Can you guys do that? And then our third rule, which is my favorite rule, is to have fun. Do you guys think you can do that? Yeah. It says it over there on the wall, I know. That's my favorite rule. It's probably your favorite rule too. Are you guys good at having fun? Yeah. You look like it, you look like a fun group. All right, so we're gonna do it. So remember, eyes up front, listening while I'm talking, and hands off until we're ready, okay? Can you guys do it? If you can't keep your hands off the table, you can put on your seatbelt like this. If you just have to, if you have to hold on to something, you can put on your seatbelt, okay? All right, so today we're talking about fruit and we're specifically talking about berries. Does anybody know a different kind, what kind of berries there are? Name a, can you name a berry? Yeah, we see that strawberry, Oh, I don't know about maple berry. How about blackberries? Has anybody ever had blackberries before? That's a good one. So that's what we're having today. We have raspberries, blueberries, and blackberries today. And so we're gonna talk about all these berries and what they do and why they're so good for you. And we're gonna make a snack called a berry pita pizza. So it's gonna look like a pizza, but it's gonna be a, kind of a sweet snack, okay? But it's gonna look like a pizza, all right? So we're gonna talk about why berries are good for you. So berries have something in them, and this is a really long word, antioxidant. That's a long one, can you guys say it with me? Antioxidant, okay? And what antioxidants do is they help keep your body from getting sick, all right? So if you eat foods like berries that are high in antioxidants, say it with me again, antioxidants, okay, they help keep you healthy. So what we're gonna say today is antioxidants keep your body very healthy. So fruits and vegetables have vitamins and minerals in them and they help keep you healthy and antioxidants specifically in these berries are gonna help keep you, keep you healthy. So we say antioxidants keep us very healthy, okay, very healthy. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to make this awesome berry pita pizza. Remember, you're gonna watch me first and then you guys are gonna work in your groups there. You guys, each have a, you guys have, each have a group, and you're gonna work in your group together to make your own snacks, and then we're gonna eat it. You have something in front of you uh, that's a piece of paper. This is called a recipe. Who's heard of a recipe before? Okay, right? A recipe is a list of ingredients and directions on how to make a dish. And you guys are gonna make this berry pita pizza with me today. So we're gonna double check that you have everything you need. Everybody has a sheet? Yes, okay, so let's look at the ingredients. Does everybody have a plate with a pita on it? 
Yes, okay, does everybody have strawberry yogurt in the middle? Yes. Yep, how about a big cup of berries? Yes. Yep, and how about some shredded coconut? Yes. Okay, now the shredded coconut is optional. If you don't like coconut, I know some people either like coconut or they don't. The shredded coconut is optional, so you do not have to put that on there if you don't want to, okay? Uh, if you want to, go for it. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. So on the other side of your recipe, there's a worksheet. And we're gonna do the worksheet while we're eating. So we're gonna cook first and then do the worksheet. The worksheet talks about, um, what's that big word that I said earlier? Say it out loud, everybody. Antioxidants. Very good. This is about antioxidants. And then you have a word search. We're not gonna do this right now, though. We're gonna do it while we're eating our snack, okay? So if you guys wanna follow along on the recipe while I show you how to make the dish, you can do that. Now, when I do the snack, I need a very important helper to come up here and help me. How about you right there with the Rubik's Cube shirt on, which is a very cool shirt, by the way. <laughs> come on up. What's your name? Izzy. Izzy, come stand over here. Thanks for coming to help. Izzy's gonna help me make this dish, okay? So you guys have a plate, you have a pita on it. Remember, you're just looking here first. You're gonna watch first. And all these ingredients in the center, we're gonna take the lids off. Not yet, just watch, okay? So we're gonna take all the lids off. We're gonna come around and help you. So if you're having trouble getting the lids off, we can help. So the first thing you're gonna do at your table, you guys all have a spoon like this. You're gonna use this spoon to get the yogurt out so that you don't mess up your other spoon. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna take a scoop of yogurt and spread it on the top of the pita. Can you do that for me? Take a nice scoop of yogurt. This is strawberry yogurt. Put it right on top, yep. And then you can take, you can put that back in and you can use this spoon to spread it out. It's a little easier with a small spoon. And then you can use your small spoon to spread it out. And then you're gonna take your spoon, we'll give you a couple other clean ones, and you're gonna take some of your berries and you're gonna sprinkle the berries. So you know when you eat pizza, it's got the sauce on it, right? And then it has like stuff on it. Like who likes pepperoni on their pizza? How about mushrooms? Oh, mushroom, come on, man. How about anchovies? <laughs> yeah, good. All right, yeah, so this is like, yeah, so this is like the stuff, right, that you put on top of the sauce. Okay, so we're gonna put some, sprinkle some berries on there. Make sure you get a raspberry on there. We just want like one layer though. If you make it too full, it's gonna be really, really hard to eat and it's gonna fall apart, okay? So you want like a nice smooth layer of yogurt. You want a nice layer of berries, perfect. That looks great. And then you're gonna have your coconut. What do you think the coconut looks like? Cheese. It looks like cheese, right? So you're gonna use, you're gonna use another spoon and you're gonna sprinkle the cheese, right? But it's really coconut. And we're gonna sprinkle that on top just like cheese, it kind of looks like Parmesan cheese, okay? So sprinkle it on there, and again, if you don't like coconut, you don't have to put it on there, or if you're allergic to it, you don't have to put it on there, okay? Izzy, that is a good looking berry pita pizza. Can you guys give him a round of applause? Nice job, dude, high five. Okay, you can go have a seat. I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like. So see, we have a nice smooth layer of yogurt. Abby, you wanna take that around and show everybody? Nice smooth layer of yogurt, a nice layer of berries, and then sprinkled coconut on top. All right, you guys think you can do that? Yeah. What do you think? So remember, we're gonna say antioxidants make us very healthy, right? Okay, so now you guys can work in your teams to make your dish, and we're gonna come around and help you. Fruit lessons, I think, are, in my mind, kind of the easiest, because we, we know that all kids pretty much love fruit. But sometimes they're used to kind of eating the same thing. They eat apples, they eat oranges, they eat bananas. They don't always eat maybe melons or berries or citrus fruit. This lesson particularly is a sweet one. We use yogurt. It's a different way to use yogurt. And it's a great way to get all the berries in and get a little bit of whole grain in there with the pita part. So it's a nice, sort of a nice well-rounded snack. And we use the Greek yogurt because it's got a ton of protein in it and it keeps them nice and full. Okay, can I have everybody's attention? Everybody look up here for a second. So while you guys are finishing up your snack and finishing up your word find, I need to tell you a few things. One of the things is you're gonna take all of your garbage, so that your plate, your spoons, the bowls that have the ingredients in it, those are all garbage. You could throw them in the garbage can. If we have a recycle, we would rinse those out and put them in the recycle. But for now today, we're gonna put them all in the garbage can up here, okay? The only thing that should be left at your table is your worksheet the crayons, and this big white spoon. And so I need somebody from the table to take this big white spoon and put it in this gray tub up here. You guys can decide amongst yourselves who it is. Put it up in this gray tub here, okay? Yeah, I like this one a lot because it has a lot of the food groups. It's got fiber, it's got protein, it's got the vitamins and minerals, so it really is a great snack. Yeah.